we need the interfacing, our measuring tape, our zipper, then also the, paper, the scissors for the material. These are the panels. This is the front panel, this is the back panel. I cut the front panel on a folded material. You can see that the front is folded, it's covered, so I cut it on a folded material. This is the back panel, I cut it open because of the zipper allowance. Here, on the zipper allowance, we cut it with 2 cm for the zipper. Then, this is the front panel. The same for the lining, because I'm putting lining is 1 cm. Then the normal material is 3 cm seam. Here is the dart. I already put thread on my dart. Also, the back panel has that. Then these are the waistband. This is the front panel waistband. I cut them also with an interfacing. Then here, the middle of the front panel is folded. It's, it's, it, there's no cutting on it. There's, it's not open. This is the back panel uh, waistband. You know, I cut it also with an interfacing with extra two centimeters. Oh, sorry, three centimeters for the bottoms. So the, now this is the dart. You know, the front dart, you have to sew them. This is the lining dart. You sew them the normal way of sewing the dart. I already pinned them. I'm going to sew them. I will sew only one. Then from this one, you'll be able to see how I make the rest. If you want to do this panel, uh, the this eight panels are already on my channel. I can check on the panel for your own. It is very, very explicit. If you want to learn how to dress the panel, you have it on the channel. Just check it out. And you can develop your own skate pattern. And that's how I do it. Now, I have done this. See how, how neat it looks. You know, when you put thread on it, you, you, you just use a thread as a guide. You saw the same on the lining. Then this is the zipper. This, you, what you do, you take your the two back panels, the front side, then you turn it to the back side. You place your zipper on the normal zipper space. You measure one centimeter out, then you place the head of your zip from the one centimeter because the one centimeter is for the connection of the waistband then you measure your zipper at the end you put a pin here so that is where you will start uh, sewing your zipper allowance you put the good sides facing each other then you sew only two centimeters for your zipper allowance And see where this is the pin where my two centimeters uh, the begin the, the end of my zipper is from that where place where I put the pin I see I'm trying to secure the yeah. allowance before I begin to sew now I'm going to sew it you make sure to secure your stitches so you sew with only two centimeters After so you open it up, make sure it's well opened. You use your, you try to make sure the two centimeters are well open. You iron it open, iron to the end. Make sure it's well ironed, two centimeters. Now I 
uh, done with the ironing you can see how straight it is it's very easy for you to connect your zipper now i'll turn it to the front side for me to fix the zip you know then you put your zip under you flip it over and i told you before that you should be aware of the one centimeter for the waistband allowance where you can connect the waistband you make sure the zipper head is placed on the one centimeter so that you don't sew on your zipper head you leave an allowance of one centimeter for the waistband connection so you secure your zipper on the zipper allowance with your pins just follow what i'm doing because this is not difficult it's easy to do if you follow the steps and you turn it to the other side you do the same going to sew it on the machine so just follow the guide because every zipper has a guide on where you will sew your stitches you follow the guide to the zipper head you open it up you pull your zipper to the front then you continue at the end of the sewing you secure your stitches you secure your stitches then you continue of the sewing is check your zipper if it's well fixed here i can see the zipper is well fixed you turn it to the other side to check very well you turn it over again to the front side now we're going to connect the back the front panel to the back panel to make sure the front sides are facing each other because the front side is facing the other front side then you put them together you sew on the normal seam line after the sewing you sew on the normal seam line then now this is the west band i'm going to connect the west band there's the front west band there's the back west band i'm going to connect them on the sides with my normal one centimeter the waist band we're going to connect the line you know this is very very tricky you have to really take time this is the front panel you and the skirt is on the back side of it this is the front that, sorry that's the lining the front side of the lining this is the yeah the back side of the skirt 
okay so you make sure that this place you take a very good attention what we do here you search for the notch this is the middle of the front panel don't forget the lining is on the the good side you know facing up and the, that's the notch on the front panel then you join the two together you make sure that all your points you highlight them either with notch or with a trade now we'll connect the the dots the lining dots and the dots on the skirt we connect them together then you connect the side seams together is also the dots you connect the dots here together on the back panel now we'll go back to the other side we we'll do the same thing connect the dots and we connect the two side seams connecting the last dot now this is the zipper you know here you have to pay really very a, a very good attention this is the zipper now I'm going to show you how you can connect your lining to your zipper okay you take the the edges the edge of the lining then you put it on the edge of the zipper just watch what I'm doing. Just put the edge to the, this to the other one. You flip it over. And you secure it with your pin. You turn it inside out. So that you'll be able to see what you're doing very well. Now we are going to connect the lining to the zipper. And see how easy it is. Just sew from there to the end. And also, when you are sewing your lining zipper uh, space, make sure you sew the same length of the zipper the same length of the zipper you sew it on your lining now i'm going to sew it you sew here with the same stitches you sew on the zipper to the zipper head you raise your machine transporter on then you pull your zipper to the front Now you can see, I'm done with the sewing, you can see how neat it looks, it's well secured, okay, see, it looks very neat. Now there's the waistband, 
I have already pinned the other the side the waistband on the skirt. I'm going to show you how you can uh, yeah, close the the button space. You fold it together. You pin, you bend with your one centimeter sewing allowance. You turn it over. So you sew here with one centimeter. Secure it with your pin so it will be well secured as you're sewing. Then you sew it with one centimeter. extra one centimeter there okay so now you cut off the edges you turn it over make sure you pull it out to make it look very neat then you do the see you sew only one centimeter on the waistband I have look at this side I've already done this side you only sew one centimeter okay now I've done that and come to the end of the sewing I have connected the zipper everything also this is the lining it looks very neat the button hole I've made it I've connected the button you can see there's the zipper the lining I ironed out everything. I also sewed the seam lines, the lining seam line and the skirt seam line. So we've come to the end of the tutorial. Please, if you're just coming in, please do subscribe to this channel. Please comment and tell me what you think about this skirt. If you want to know more, you check out my channel. You will see the, vid the video of how this pattern is made is on my channel. Okay, this skirt looks very beautiful. I am grateful that you are here. Thank you very much for watching. See you in my next video.